الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام سيدنا محمد وعلى بيت تاجين الطاهرين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصر إن من سنا الله في كسر إلا الذين عاملوا وعملوا الصالحات وتوسوا بالحكي وتوسوا بالصبر Allah sent blessings upon Muhammad and the family of Muhammad and name God most gracious and most merciful by the token of the time through the ages really man is at loss except for those who uh, do good deeds and have patience and rec recommend one another in uh, good things surely Allah speaks the truth inshallah uh, I'm gonna go since it's three o'clock in the morning inshallah in uh, Michigan and uh, there's many things that I, I want to say and uh, I feel it is my duty as a Muslim uh, as, as a follower of the Ah Muhammad uh, to, to you know say some things there's so many things I see in the, in the uh, YouTube you know about the Shia Sunni uh, dialogue uh, different ways we practice you know different forms of religion you know and it's a shame really that there's uh, so many differences in uh, in the way it's practiced. Well, alhamdulillah. One thing I wanted to speak about is the amendment. You know, uh, I watched a uh, video by Bilal Phillips, and it said uh, how the Shia she, she deviated. You know, and and the main thing that he uh, he spoke about was the infallibility of the uh, twelve imams. Uh, you know, uh, the twelve leaders <coughs> of the Prophet after the Prophet had left. Now, in, in order to follow somebody, you'd have to examine the person from the life to the death. Or if he was present at that time, you would have to know the person's character. So in order to follow somebody, we have to know their character. And also, they have to know the, the things that they say is, is uh, sah, uh, good, you know, inshallah, authentic. Uh, one thing in, in, in some of the forms of Islam they have uh, an Isnad Our, in the school of Al-Muhammad we have an Isnad an Isnad is a chain of narrations and in our Hadith we accept some Hadiths from other uh, you know, other uh, forms of school of thought and some we reject uh, and this is due to the uh, chain of narration uh, we don't accept everything that somebody says because somebody might say something and this and that, and, and you no, know, it gets changed, or it might, it might be, uh, they might have been known as been a liar. Now, the Imams, alayhi uh, salam, peace be upon all of them. Ali Amir Mu'mineen was the first one, Hassan Hussein, Zainal Abidin, Jafar Sadiq, and so on and so forth. I'm going to touch down on just uh, the first six, you know, the six I just spoke about. Amir Mu'mineen, uh, I made a video on him, and there's many videos about this this person. He was known as the most eloquent of speech, the gate of knowledge, the door of knowledge. Ali, uh, Prophet Muhammad said, I am the gate of knowledge and Ali is his door. Now, he has 1,000 doors. Behind each door, there's another 1,000 doors of knowledge. This is uh, a quote from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. Also, we have uh, Hassan. Hassan was raised with under Amir Mu'minin, Fatima, and uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad. And also Hussein was the pinnacle of, his, of, of the Shia religion uh, when he was sacrificed because of his he knew so much that he wouldn't accept the tyrants at that time. And then you have Zayn al-Abidin who's called the Imam al-Sajda. After, uh, after uh, Imam Hussein was slaughtered in Karbala, Zayn al-Abidin uh, compiled the du'as. You know? uh, the book of du'as and many of the du'as that we have now are compiled by Zayn al-Abidin. Salam, and he was Imam al Sajda because he stayed in prostration for the rest of his time, the majority of his time he would stay in prostration and he would cry for 20 years after the death of Imam Hussein. Salam. And then you have Jafar Sadiq. He was the, uh, the, the formatted the Jafar, Jafar uh, school of thought. You know, and he really branched out. And, um, you know, as far as the teaching on the, on the, the fatwas and jurisprudence and Basically, anything that anyone has ever, you know, anything that was taught, you know, the people were students of there. And, and, and many people don't take into consideration that you got uh, Imam Shafi, Rahmatullah, and you have Imam Hanbali, uh, Rahmatullah. These two were students of Jafar, Jafar Sadiq al And they get some of their uh, rulings from him. So, 
with these imams, you know, uh, eventually you're going to follow somebody. You know, the Prophet, if he would not have left somebody to take charge of the religion, then they, the religion would have been uh, not complete. The Prophet fulfilled every mission that Allah gave him. The Prophet was infallible, and he left people to guide us whom are infallible. Because if not, it would weaken the religion, and it would make it, uh, you know, like a, a storybook or something. I recently watched a... a uh, you know, a video by um, this brother Hassani Raj, Raj, uh, Rajab Ali, Rajab Ali, and uh, he has very good things about uh, the Imamit. If you punch that into the uh, YouTube, you can find his uh, videos, and he can speak better about this than I can. One, his, one thing he did say is that the Tawheed is the basis of our religion, the oneness of a God, you know, and then the oneness of God is taught through the Imams, you know to teach us the way to practice the Tawheed. Best deeds, no, hands down, no question. So, eventually you're gonna follow somebody if you don't, if you don't follow somebody, you're, you're prone to uh, follow somebody else. And, inshallah, this is just brief about the Imam, who the Imams are, and their infallibility is, 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 uh, all the way around.